Let me introduce you to Helena, our 15-year-old female cerebral palsy patient from New Zealand. In the next 49 days, Helena will receive a 400-hour grant of MME therapy from Tahoma Clinic Foundation. Her mother will fund an additional 100 hours for a grand total of 500 hours of magnetic molecular energizer therapy. Here is Helena's mother to explain Helena's condition and to identify some of the more important health concerns that she would hope to see improved during this therapy. Uh, the biggest thing I think I'm, I'm looking for um, even probably more than mobility, although mobility is, is the, the ultimate thing, is to see a change in, in growth. Um, she is so small and I think if we're ever to see any real mobility out of her, we need to get her a lot bigger. Mm -hmm. um, she's, she's very um, flat through the chest, so obviously if we can see a lot in chest growth, that would be really, really positive. Um, the neck twist is a really big deal for her. It's it's very hard for her to even see the world straight with her head constantly twisted, and that to me is a very very important thing to get sorted out. Obviously, the twist in the hips mm -hmm. is also very important. Um, the legs have been crossing and uncrossing. Sometimes they've been even more crossed than that. I think it's um, important for her comfort for them to uncross. Um, the, the volume of the, of the legs is also really important, you know, she's just, there's, there's no way that that leg would ever be able to bear weight, so I think, sure. you know, growth and development is, is probably paramount. Mm -hmm. The Thank left you. side of her face, yeah, which is, is less developed than the right side, and this morning I was noticing that there's, there's more division between neck and jaw, which is, it's good when you do that, Helena, but you can see from that line there. Mm -hmm. um, it's generally been quite a smudged line before, so and, and she's she's um, she's fleshier. She's definitely got some growth happening uh, on the left side. Excellent. And this is her beginning her third uh, ten-hour session. So we are excited about what's going to be going on here with Helena. Good morning. This is Helena, and she has just finished her 200 hours. This is May 12th. 2009. Just beautiful, early, wide awake girl here, turning your head around freely, flexibly. And we're going to let her mother kind of explain Hello. some of the nice things that we've seen here just uh, last, mm, the last hundred hours or so, I think, since yeah. we took this video last. Yeah. Really big change in her jawline here. So we've actually got this nice deep crease um, coming in through here which means that we've been extracting that jaw which has been really um, sunken in into the side of her face um, and there's a lot more there's a lot more soft um, pliable flesh here whereas before it was just a lot of loose skin there's still loose skin here which means that there's still more filling out to do but we've definitely got that line which is the that division which is the most important thing Good. Um, she's definitely moving her head more easily most of the time. All right. Okay, sweetie. And it's easier for me too when she has those little episodes to actually bring her head around into a more natural position. She's actually got a lot more space in her neck on this side. Um, not so long ago, I couldn't, I couldn't have easily just held her head there and put my hand in. So, very happy about that. Um, Always used to when she was in the chair, used to have to have the harness around around her torso to stop her from sliding off the side. She's a little bit more uh, slidey again this morning, but nowhere near what she has been. So it's sort of coming and going all that. And a little bit of core stability then, huh? Yeah, and you know I can. So she's just she's just more pliable. And breathing's definitely easier. She's kind of struggling at it less. Uh huh. Um, the other really big thing is this headrest. Um, 
which when we first came I had the straps down here so the, the bottom of the headrest was, was down here um, and I had to raise it twice since especially in the last in the last hundred, uh, the last 50 hours or so um, that's huge and to me I think what's happening is that there's all of this compression and, and locked down um, tightness in her torso is just kind of opening up and she's untwisting, shoulders are untwisting so I don't think it's I think she's growing because she's untwisting which mm. is fantastic good, wonderful, <laughs> absolutely beautiful okay I just wanted to show again the the neck because this to me is one of the most exciting things um, lying down because it looks different when she's sitting upright and you can actually see that that beginning line of the jaw quite well when she's lying down very well defined right yeah. there and she's holding her head this way <laughs> when and she back bites and herself. forth uh -huh. <laughs> which she's still <laughs> doing so we're still needing the strip yeah that's what um, that little strip is for and that was actually a really good demonstration of what happens to her when she bites she just causes this whole body reaction and instantly brings that neck back down to the shoulder uh -huh. um, but much easier to replace We've got some mm. thigh. Yes, we do. <laughs> we don't have right. you know, a lot of thigh, but this is a lot of thigh for Helena. Wow. Um, where there's actually a squashability in it. Uh -huh. Whereas before everything was just so rigid and tight that you know you could hold your hand against it and it wouldn't make any difference. But wow. she's actually got something to get your hand around. Yeah. Can you get that? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, I just noticed here we've got you can see this line, this division between the ear and the side of the face. That's new as well. We haven't had that before. Um, so I just wanted to point that out because I think that's quite important. I mean, all, all the different divisions means that inside the connective tissue was starting to separate and divide properly. So you can't have proper function until you have all of those divisions in the body yeah. correctly. That's pretty exciting to me and obviously is... is um, associated with the bringing of the jaw out, but it's just right another there. another yep. sign of that happening there. Wow. Very exciting. Beautiful. Here we are again. This is um, Helena's thigh. She's laying here and just had a good long nap and everything. And this is something that we felt like we should show everybody. This is at about 277 hours on May 19th. And we're going to let her mother show us what she's seen here. Well, I just changed Helena's nappy um, and I noticed a, uh, just the, the whole, whole overall look of the leg is different. She's got much more volume. She's much more um, tissue solid rather than when we looked at this before, there was, there was, we could see the makings of it and it's just, it's just plumped up. We've also got a really, really different look in the hip, which is filled out around the joint. So she's actually getting that, that volume um, mm -hmm. that's essential to help stabilize the joint. It's, it's really quite, um, wow. it's really quite amazing. <laughs> yes, it is. At 330 hours, and this is May 25th, on Memorial Day, and her mother has some, oh, she's got a beautiful smile for us this morning already. Hello. Yeah. All right. Great. And uh, her mother has something that she wants to show us this morning that really is impressive and exciting. It is. It is. First thing I noticed um, when I put her in the chair this morning was the fact that both her um, ankles are coming down below the strap. The strap is here to stop her feet from hitting the, the wheels. There's no other reason for it. but. Um, Previously, this this foot particularly would sit above the strap, so um, she's obviously. I mean, the, the legs aren't longer in themselves, but they've definitely shifted in her pelvis. Um, and what we've been doing when we get her back to the hotel um, after the day here is we've been putting her on her ABR machine, which is the other program she's doing. Um, and what I've been noticing, I think, is a is a a really supercharged effect um, yeah. in the ABR and, it, and it's absolutely the MME that's doing that. I think the best way of showing it is to show the, the angle in the division here between the, um, the pelvis and, and where it meets the leg. And on this side, this is the side that's dropped down a lot, 
our, our angle is here, this side the angle is still up here. So you can see it's, it's, shifted, it's shifted down this way and that's what's allowed all this extra length in the leg. Um, and you can see it from the points of the femur here and here. Now this one is now so much further down than the other side. Oh I guess. Very noticeable. Very. Um, a lot more, a lot more width in the pelvis as well, um, from point to point here. So this is this is really looking good, um, and there's there's a lot more. <laughs> get around the legs. Um, there's a lot more pelvic depth as well, um, which means that she's much closer to being able to move it. Probably what will happen next is that this leg will start rotating back so it won't be constantly crossed. Which will be very good. Okay, so this is just um, a better angle to show um, pelvic depth. Um, if we keep that arm out of the way. Um, from, from the base to the iliac crest, um, that's much, much, much wider than it has been in the past. The overall look when you're just looking at her in the chair is so much better. We're, we're still not using the harness around her waist or around her chest um, and I'm not really even using the between the legs um, uh, strap which is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so when she is hyperextending she's not going to the point where she's flipping it herself out of the chair. Great. She's, she just looks so much straighter. I mean, she just looks like she's sitting straight, whereas before she would be twisted around um, and un uncomfortably leaning to one side or the other. Mm -hmm. um, the the left jaw has continued to come out, and that's also caused um, her neck to be much more balanced. And so there's a lot more freedom in the movement of the head. She still doesn't have head control. But there's a lot more freedom in the movement of the head, so she's a lot more relaxed. Um, with that. Great. We have been having some periods of time where I've been able to take the strip off her lip wow. and, and she hasn't been biting and so I'm just kind of doing it now on the basis of um, leaving it for as long as I can and then putting it on when we really need to. Great. Um, body much, like I say, much straighter but also longer. So if you remember we had to move the um, headrest twice, we had to lift it twice mm -hmm. so that she had enough room for her shoulders to come up underneath it. Yes. Um, so we haven't had to raise it again, but she's just she's she is lifting up towards that. So the body is is um, coming out of that compressed state that it was mm -hmm. in. Um, legs much straighter, much more even. Knees and her heels are sitting very comfortably below the strap, very comfortably below the strap. Mm -hmm. So this the whole the overall whole picture is one of an untwisting. And, and a decompression. Great. I think the most, the most impressive thing here is, is actually seeing the evenness in her belly. Um, it's, it's the same as the things that we see when we see her sitting in the chair, but you can actually see it properly in the flesh. Now she's holding her head over to the other side. Um, it, it looks even. She has a small amount of breast budding on one side, which is um, impressive. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, the, the, the evenness, I think, yeah, getting it from that angle, the evenness is really impressive and the depth, uh, particularly in this side, the depth in the rib cage and the elasticity of the rib cage has really improved a lot. Mm, beautiful. Mm. Um, hips, big change in the hips. Um, as in the the width and the depth. Mm. Big um, improvements. On both sides. Yes, on both sides. And she's still crossing her leg but less with less with less force. Mm. Um, and definitely some good thigh growth on both sides. Beautiful.